7 on Daybreak and last month we took you behind the scenes of the future Buffalo AKG Art Museum on Elmwood. But you only have just a few more weeks to visit their temporary home on Northland Avenue before that site closes. Daybreak's Lauren Hall joins us this morning with more on the meaning behind their final exhibit. Lauren, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, this is a show that's actually been talked about and been in the works since the Albright Knox decided to move to Northland while their main campus is under construction in the first place. That's back in 2019. It's believed to be the first time the museum has produced an all black show with local curators. It's called In These Truths and it features 59 pieces of work by 23 black artists, all living and working throughout North America. Co-curator Atina Farid Cook, who grew up on the east side of Buffalo, says it's important for the community to see work by artists that represent them. There's so many amazing artists that live within our city um, from all different kinds of demographics. Um, but the thing is, we don't necessarily see ourselves black um, artists in certain spaces, especially on a platform like Albright. And so I think it was very necessary and um, important, not only for us, but for the community to see it. And since the tragedy at Tops on Jefferson, which is just a mile and a half from this facility, Albright Knox has been using the Northland site as a safe space for neighbors to grieve and receive mental health resources and more. They will also be giving all the pay what you wish donations for admission for these final weekends of the show to Feed Buffalo, Every Bottom Covered and the African Heritage Co-op. It is open Friday, Saturday and Sunday this weekend and next. Again, it's free to visit. It's just pay what you wish. Um, for a donation at the door. For Channel 2 News Daybreak, I'm Lauren Hall, Heather, Melissa, and Patrick. Back over to you. Yeah.